Yo guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Kingdom Come Deliverance, an up and coming RPG game. And what you're looking at right now is the E3 2016, uh, some gameplay from there. And real quick, a little background about this video game. It is a Kickstarter video game. It uh, reached its goal back in February 20th. 2014 and I am proud to say that I actually got a chance to uh, put some money down and help them develop the game which is pretty awesome also the game is I believe I already said RPG and it's actually a realistic medieval setting so there's really no fantasy elements in it so there's no dragons magic and all that other good stuff but you know, honestly, it still looks like an incredible game, and it's quite a turn or a change from the usual fantasy games that we uh, all see nowadays. Um, nothing wrong with that, but you know, it's it's a nice change. So, real quick, what you're looking at right now is all the different clothing and armor, and it's just a huge clothing and armor system. They have several uh, realistic layers of clothing, so you have uh, clothing, like regular old clothing underneath, then you have, you know, padding, then chain mail, then armor, and it's, it's, uh, you can see the layers as they are appearing on the screen, and all the different combinations you can have, honestly, there's hundreds of thousands of different combinations that you can have, and layer, different layers, and it's honestly quite a, a, a system that they have going on here which is honestly beautiful looking, really cool. You can actually just walk around with just one of those layers. You don't have to have, you know, all that armor on. And as you can see, there's just so many different options. Um, moving on, both armor and weapons actually have a wear and tear over time, as you just see. How if without proper care, without repairing the armor and taking care of it, over time through battles and you know bloodiness it can actually take a toll on your armor and I believe it actually makes it uh, so if you go and talk to someone and you have bloody worn out armor they're gonna notice that like they might not talk to you if you have or react the same if you have bloody um, ripped up or, or, or you know dirty armor rather than like a huge man with you know nice shiny armor who looks you know very proper and gallant and even you know, the horses have an awesome uh, different range of options of clothing uh, moving on uh, keeping a uh, similar uh, what do you call genre of armor and weapons we're gonna move on straight to weapons uh, huge uh, just like the armor there's a ton of different types of weapons and actually over time I believe you have to actually go to that anvil and resharpen it, and so, so it's realistic. So you know you do a bunch of fighting, it gets dull, it, it wears down, and you actually have to go to an anvil to repair it, sharpen it, or clean it. Um, honestly, I don't know 100% of everything in the game because it's not done yet. I actually haven't played it personally. Uh, actually, that's not true. I did play uh, the alpha demo or whatever. It, it was an early stage uh, demo. And which was pretty sick if you haven't checked it out yet. Um, if you kickstart it, get the demo and try it out. Let me tell you, it's really uh, really fun. And I really look forward to the game actually in its full bloom. Because it's beautiful. Just look at the graphics. Uh, the graphics of all like the, the landscape, the buildings, all super, super realistic. They actually went around to realistic castles that are still standing today. That are from the medieval era, I believe like you know the 1400s. And they, they copied it. So they took pictures of it, put it in game form, and then kind of reconstructed the, you know, the worn down um, the walls and all that other stuff. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's it's super realistic. The, the different castles, I believe, what is it? I'm trying to remember what the actual date is that they, they chose. It's like 14 something. I don't know it off the top of my head. But they used all um, super real, like churches, cathedrals, um, bridges that are actually there. 
and it's it's actually placed in Europe so it's actually using those places I believe I, I'm not 100% sure if it's actually if they use like I don't know I don't know what to tell you but as you can see there's a, a quick little show of the actual sharpening you can actually go up to uh, why did I say anvil before I forgot what that's called like a whetstone where you can actually uh, re use it to uh, repair or sharpen excuse me sorry Whew. Um, one last thing before we uh, finish up here is the sword play the fighting style which is also super super realistic everything about the game is really realistic they actually used a guy oh, I don't know if it was just one guy it might have been quite a few used them in motion capture uh, full body suits and copied their movements sword play so it was super realistic and they implement that into the game so that way it's all kind of uh well realistic <laughs> like what i'm saying so it's like real movements real um you know blocking and, and sword play and fighting so it's all going to feel like you're actually in medieval times now one thing i like to point out is earlier they said your character is already kind of set in stone for not not 100 percent set in stone because obviously rpgs are very um open ended but the backstory is kind of set in stone and i don't believe you can actually edit your character character's face at all or their gender i could be wrong that was like really early on that they were saying that so some things might change so don't take my word for that because it could have changed by now uh but they they had uh where you know that way so then they wouldn't have to do the huge huge armor system on both male female all the motion capture they'd have to do with more like uh, different lip sizes and faces and all that stuff because it was fan um, fan funded but then uh, also after it was fan funded I believe they actually got backed by other bigger companies because they saw okay people actually will play this game will buy it and might actually enjoy it so let's get in on it so I uh, they funded like I think it was like 1.4 million pounds or something which is like it's pretty much like a million dollars uh, close enough you know right around there um, so and then they got some funding from other companies or whatever I don't know I don't know the whole the whole nine yards but yeah that's that's about it that's kind of like the the fundamentals and backstory of Kingdom Come Deliverance and I know I'm super excited when this game comes out and <laughs> honestly it just looks beautiful it really does super cool super realistic and yeah I hope you guys go out and get it as well so that's it thank you guys so much for watching please leave a like if you enjoy I might do another Kingdom Come Deliverance video again soon maybe do a little bit of demo walkthrough i don't know but honestly gorgeous thank you guys so much for watching and i'll be seeing everyone in the next video bye guys